And thanks for staying with us. Life in Nigeria is strongly shaped by the many infrastructural challenges of the country. Experts have to get used to the frequent power outage during their time in Nigeria. That's the people that come from abroad. Now, only about half of all Nigerian households, that's about 48%, have access to electricity. And even then, often only for a few hours a day. There are, however, even more pressing issues for Ni many people living in Nigeria, such as inadequate supply of safe water and the high prices of many consumer goods. If, it is, um, if the report that we gathered uh, that about 70% of the population live below the poverty line and depends on imported foods that is also too expensive for them to access, then what exactly is the reason for us to be smiling in this country what hope is there <laughs> for us you know what hope is there for a smile in our country in nigeria so please let us hear what you have to say remember you can tweet um, at us plus at plus tv africa or at waste africa one with the hashtag waste or send us an sms or whatsapp on 081 8038466 um so today is world smile day and it's so perfect that it's tying into us turning 60. So I'm thinking, how old am I now? I'm in my 30s. I'm wondering when I'm 60, will I be here? Will it be the same story? Would there be visible growth? Would there be a substantial, you know, a recognition for great work that I have and my sand prints that I've left on the sands of time? Or what exactly or where exactly will I be, you know, being 60? You know, um, so it just tied in nicely for us to ask this question. Are we a happy people or is it just something that we try to coin to deceive ourselves? And what are the, what, what are the things that would truly make us, you know, smile in this country, the basic things, you know, maybe. Okay, I, don't go first. <laughs> let me come to you. I reply her. No, <laughs> you want to reply me. You <laughs> said in, in your 60s you're having <clears throat> thought of where you're going to be. What I see in this generation of we parents, mm -hmm. when we're in our 60s, is we're going to be very, very lonely. It will. You why? know why? Why? Most of our children will be out of this country. Hmm. You know the number of children that are being born outside of Nigeria every day, and the number of people relocating, and the number of children going abroad to study? There's going to be a complete dart of young people in this country. So we are going to be left to our fate. And we don't have any social security. We don't have, because don't forget that in Nigeria, children in Africa generally, children are social security. Most of us are not going to have one child living in Nigeria. Eh, hey, Lami, you yeah. just wasn't my situation. It's the I truth. Lami, Lami <laughs> just went from zero to 1,000. I'm telling you, you just wasn't my situation. See, I didn't even see it coming. I did I'm, not see that it's coming. It's my own reality. No, no I'm, I'm saying that, yes. It's just and it's I valid. See it. It's valid. It's so valid, you know, like, I'm just saying that you have wasn't my situation. Thank you for no, depressing no. me for that. <laughs> do, do you, don't you see yourself taking well, your I children don't, to I Canada? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Okay, so... Let me come to uh, AK. Yeah, as in fact, Lamy has blown me off. <laughs> so earlier this week, my church had um, this thing where they, um, you talk about the Nigeria for the future, and my daughter was asked to do a video, totally not coached. And guess what she said? She wants to see Nigeria in the future. She wants to see Nigeria where you don't take power, the power company can do oh. a better job. My daughter is six years old. And she was talking about also obeying traffic laws and... Um, treating our environment right. This is a mm. six year old. I didn't coach her and she can begin to identify some of the problems that we have in the country. And that for me was scary. Well, I would say one thing I'm always grateful about this country is for number one, we're not prone to natural disasters because it would have been terrible. Mm. Look at it, even with COVID, somehow God has dealt mercifully with us because wow, imagine with the health, um, care so infrastructure cares, and the things that we, would ha we have, it would be total chaos. No, but I want to say, I beg to differ there. Uh, I wish we had some of these tough uh, things. Uh, no, uh, please no, 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 no. Let me, no. Why? Let me, let me life is already tough. Uh, so let no, me no, go. No, 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 please don't. <laughs> let me land. It's enough. Okay, let land. Me land. land. Life is already tough as it is. Mm -hmm. Not being able to, so you have to have very good job for you to have good, maybe like health insurance or to be able to even have access to good, good health, medical, health. medical um, help. Go to 
um, state hospitals, go to um, the local clinics where you would see people suffering real time. Mm. So why I want to, in my mind of faith, hope for a good thing for this company, it, for me, it's just, um, are we a happy people? I would like to answer yes. And it, you know why? Because somehow Nigerians just good to prove. Mm -hmm. Thank you that your <laughs> happiness really, they are a testament that happiness does not stem from your environment. No, absolutely. Can I answer no, okay, that? I too. wanted to show you, let we me talk some more. We are a very happy nation. Have you been to <laughs> Owen Bell weekend? I always wonder that is this the same Nigerian that people complain? Because no. that's where I go to party. That's my point. So we... Today, Sunday, I'm at parties. I enjoy myself. Thank God for ways happy. that delivered you. No, he hasn't delivered. Delivered me. I can never get out of me. <laughs> but let me explain why I said um, what I was going to say before. You see, for me, I think now the biggest, the most creative times in my life are when I am very, very broke. Mm, of extremely course. broke. I get extremely creative. I get that. Do you understand that. my point? Of course. So I'm just imagining that I just wish we got, we hit that rock level. bottom. Maybe, just maybe. No, maybe because, you know, the reason we are actually looking like it's all right is because we are patching things. Hmm. We're just going I, I, about. I, I, I would no, want to disagree. No, that's my, wait, let I me, let me finish the okay, point. Because finish. the toughest courses in my school, right, when I was studying physics, the toughest courses are the ones that I will come out with an A or a B. But the ones that I know that is the walkover, I come out with maybe C or D because why? I just believe that it's, it's easy. I can, I can just walk over it. That is the same attitude that I see. I just wish that, you know, we had something deeper. Look at COVID. When COVID came, because it was still a bit fresh, there was that panic, that seriousness was there. But, now, but look at it now. We have all wow. relaxed and COVID has not left. Wow. Yesterday, Abi, was it today now that uh, the president and his wife, Donald Trump, they, test, they, they tested positive, Abi tested positive for COVID-19. People still don't believe that the thing exists. I'm just saying that, you, you know, in Nigeria, maybe if we had been hit with a tougher situation, Nigerians, we are so, we are so far G, you know, we like to... Uh, jolly well, jolly good, and all of that. But that is not our reality because if we, well, if we well, stream, why, 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 why I would like to, like, I would like to say well, that you're a peculiar person. This country, I don't know if you don't know that we have reached there. We have reached there. <laughs> we have not reached there. See, when yes. you have, when you the have rock bottom. bad governance and people that are interested in taking from you, it doesn't matter. Like if they don't care about you, they will not care about you when you're. In fact, the worse it gets the more they would want to take so that they would secure themselves. And another thing before, because I know we're running out of yeah. time. Another thing for me is that uh, my father usually says that Nigeria, we get the kind of leaders that we deserve. Speak from mm. the same basket. We are bad followers. Mm. We are not interested in most, especially the youth. Anything in intellectual. You are very docile, mm -hmm. very apathetic. The only thing we understand is fragile. Mm -hmm. That is why you think we have not gotten there. We have gotten there. We are just living the day as it comes, like, well, and you know, the element of corruption. We are all corrupt. <sighs> we are in every sphere of Nigerian life. Okay, so I have There's a corruption. few comments from Lamy people. Can <laughs> ah, some of us, some of us. Oh. I have a few comments from, okay. because I asked um, people in the, the audience that what exactly would put a smile on your face. Um, Dave says, I just want 24 hour light exactly. in, Egbe that's from Egbeda, Egbeda. The roller case says, if I could drive through uh, with no potholes and minimal traffic, mm. it makes a lot of difference. Yeah. Um, I'll take just three, then we'll take the remaining later. Uh, Musibao says, reduction in crime rate, empowering mm. the police with quality training and exactly. welfare. Yeah. So, and you know the funny thing about this poll that we did? It's so interesting that Nigerians are the most easiest people to, to please. please. True. We do not even stress ourselves. You don't need to give me anything. We're not hard. We, we're not built for handouts. Well, are, like all this social security. When, when, you, are are bad place, no. when you are in a bad place for a long time, <laughs> oh, you, you, do not like that. No, you don't get my point. No, my point is that abroad, when you live abroad, my sister wasn't working for six months for COVID. She just said they called her from the whatever, whatever services, and handed over 600 uh, euros. She said, ah. My children got 300 each from their school. God, we bless you. 300 so, pounds I'm just each. saying that we are not those... Nigerians would not I expect... <laughs> One minute. Nigeria will, Nigerians will not expect all those kind of things. What we just need are basic, the basic things basic, for survival. Basic. We need good roads. We need health care. We need good education, right? So that when we are thriving, we have an environment that helps us to thrive. Uh, and you know why You know why we want those basic things. The people you are talking already take already have basic things, so they would aspire higher. 
why we are easy to please is because we do not have basic. So if you mm. see basic, you hold at it. Least. At least let the police work. Okay, we thank you. Thank you very much. We're conditioned to we accept conditioned the little to things. We're conditioned to accept mediocrity. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. So we're going to take more <laughs> questions. Um, AK, I think you should um, um, take a bit of... Um, oh, shoot. I'm trying to get more questions out from the... I mean, more, more, more com um, comments from the audience. AK, I, I, um, you take some questions. Okay. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's quickly go on a short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 